Welcome, friends! It is I, Earl Soscoff, and it's time for the one shot. Today we're playing Tiny Guardians by Kurechi, is the name of the company. This is a mobile port, and it's pretty fun. All you need is left click for this entire game. This is a mobile. Uh, they call it mobile tower defense. I really wouldn't call that. It's more like you're just using units to protect someone in the middle. You're the summoner in the middle, and you have units you can summon to protect you as you go along a path. And it's a pretty fun game. We'll go right here. I've been playing about 90 minutes of the game. Looks like it showed 17 levels. And this game has a lot going on with it already. Now, it is a mobile game, so if you like what you see here and you'd rather play on iOS or on Android, you can with a tablet or a phone. Now what's going on here is you're going along this path here, and you of course gain more units and stuff as you go. I'm going to do a level, like my newest level, and then I'll show you some more stuff about it. But right now this is where I am. Bandit Maze, long gone. Long gone is a bright sunlight replaced by the eerie darkness of looming branches. Lunali, that's you, uh, comes across some shady operations in the forest, and the group behind it aren't keen to let her off with their secrets. So there's easy, normal, and hard. Hard things hit really hard. I don't think you get as much mana. Normal's normal, and then easy you get a free unit, which is nice. So here you go. There's also challenge mode, which is pretty challenging. So even when you play this whole thing, you can always play it on harder modes and with challenges to make it even harder. So here's the cards I can summon right now. And right now I can only have about three at the start. So I'm gonna whip out a knight to protect me. He can be a shield. Whipping out an archer. And I can make one more. I'm not going to. I'm gonna save a little bit so I can get another unit. So here we go. The way this game works is you got these enemy units along your path. As you can see right here. We got a long path to go. The archer's just shooting some things. So here we go. Enemies are coming over. They're attacking. I have spells I can use which just have cooldowns on them. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a trap here for these dogs. And I got units fighting. I got an archer shooting. I got this guy right here. I can just drag units around to help out. And the trap took way too long to go off. Whoops. Drop this on these guys though. Bam! There we go. Did some damage. I'm gonna want to heal my units. I can now afford a mage. I'm gonna bring that mage up. Mage does magical damage and slows down enemies. There's physical armor and magical armor. You gotta keep them in account so it's good to have a variety of units. And with more mana, you can have more units. Right now, this is where we are. Let's move this over here. Have my range deal with this guy. And you just have to place some of your units as you go, and you can see their attack uh, range and everything. You can also upgrade units to make them better. Right now, I just want to have variety, and then I'll go for armoring up. Bring up my armor unit. Oh, new enemies! Oh, stealth enemies! Oh, hello! What's good is you can read them up, Phantom Niars? Niars? Predatory cats that move with great stealth, being attacked by an undetected uh, fan the air hurts. Hunters can detect stealth enemies. I don't have a hunter right now. That would be this unit right here. So this would be a really good unit to have eventually. So you get a heal aura, just drop a bomb and then a trap. Traps do really good damage. A heal aura, of course, heals units, which is great. You also have the choice of having enemies attack you sooner, which gives you star points. And you want star points to upgrade your units, so we're going to do that. Although I might have put myself in a very bad situation here. Yeah, crud, my units are going to die. Put a trap here. She's dead. Over time, she'll come back and help me. I'm in a very bad situation here. I'm gonna wait for Hunter. But oh man, this is not good. Traps activated. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Heal my units. There we go. I got put in a very bad spot. Wow. Bring out Hunter. There we go. Apparently, traps only go off if they go across them, not if it's just there on it right now. So, I gotta use my units. Budge. Uh, heal. There we go. So you can strategically move your units around. Archer is good from range, not good close up. Gotta move this guy over. Star out. There we go. Back up my units a little bit before they get hurt. There we go. And I did not play too well a second ago, but luckily I'm doing okay now. So there we go. I'm gonna get another upgrade so I can have all five of my units. Do that. There we go. See my units are placed right now. Uh, put them right there. So now I'm, I'm lacking tank. I just have a lot of range damage and one tank. I'm gonna want to bring in some more defense eventually. Which place is here? Oh great, treants. So there's also times we need to click on things to make them stop. Bandits in the bushes or treants just trying to root your units which would be very bad for you. There's a lot of different things you can deal with which is pretty great. There's a good variety of enemies and units that you have. These are the basic units I have right now, but you can unlock more as you play through the game. I'm gonna try putting down a trap, so hopefully this goes off in time to kill all these guys. We're waiting for 120 mana right now. And the trap's gonna go off. It goes off on some of them. 
I didn't know they were gonna just sit there. Drop the bomb on them. There we go. And I can upgrade units if I want to, but I want to have variety. There we go. I got all five units now. Ninja's got a close range and melee. He can dodge. While well, you got your Fisher tank guy who can just handle a lot of damage. There's a pretty good variety. There's also buff units, which I haven't unlocked yet. I now want to upgrade my tank, of course, so upgrade him. Let's see here. Put him right here for the front of the line. What's good, you can always shift them around where you want them. We know this is going to be very tough in a second, so good thing I have a heal ready. Trap will be ready soon as well. As far as this goes, I got full five, so I don't need to look at that anymore. There's her advantage. You can see stealth units, so we can hit them before they come over. I'm going to want to set up a trap before I activate these guys, of course. Ooh, that's different. Crap. Activate my trap card. Okay, that's all dead, so let's activate these now. Oh, no, another unit. Uh-oh. Put my tank over here. There you go, that killed by the trap. That's good. Heal up my units a little bit. There we go. Oh, man, so much stuff is happening right now. Upgrade my tank again. There we go. He's even better now. Of course, I need to move my range unit since... Ah, oh, darn it. I got her killed. My bad there. You can see there's just a lot to manage. Fish are doing this on a mobile phone. I don't even know. But you can. It's just chaotic and I'm losing units. I'm losing a lot of units. I'm gonna gather my units up so that when I do the regen, they'll be resurrected. I lost a lot of units though. Holy crap. Heal them all up. Bring them back. There we go. Everyone's back! How much do I need here? I need 140, okay. So they're getting hit by this wall right now. You can also read this enemy. Prongles! It rolls and rolls and doesn't stop till it hits you hard like a rock and sharp like spikes. Alright. Don't get stunned when they roll. Okay. You see how much more we gotta deal with coming up? Break the wall and everything. And I have a trap. No really good place to put it yet. My tank, of course, is taking the damage. Gonna put him up again soon enough. Oh, enemies in the rear. Uh-oh. We drop the bomb on them, but don't really need to. But you see how fun this can be, just how much hectic stuff you can deal with? And this is on normal, not even on hard. That's what I appreciate about this game, is there's a lot to do in this thing. It, it's kind of casual, but there's just so much you can do with your finger if you're playing this on mobile. Just a lot to do. I enjoy it on PC just because, you know, mouse is a bit easier to go through it. Uh, potion here to heal up. There we go. Oh, more stuff! Put down the trap! I think he's at max level right now. No, no, 160. He gets another level. We're gonna activate this, guys. Trap card's ready! Ram! Look at that damage! That's why you want a really well-placed trap. Because it can hurt them so good. Upgrade him again! Oh, man! I think he's at final level. Yeah, he is. Level 5, so we want to put someone else up. Probably the archer. We can put up Splash, we can put up other things. Like, this is it. Set traps that damage enemies. So she- I can have a character doing traps. That could be interesting as well, but we're near the end, so I don't know about traps. This guy. Smoke bomb that blinds enemies. That could be useful. Of course, my archer does burst attack, I believe. Yeah, burst shot. So she hits faster. I want to just go ahead and just drop the bomb. Graham! Uh oh, things in the back are coming up. Potions are very helpful. There we go, put her up. I can also just put everyone up once so they have special abilities. So I might do that too. Now she's got a uh, attack speed buff she can use. Which should be very helpful. Oh man, put down the trap? Yeah. That'll be for the next group, basically. So I got my melees over here, my ranged over here. Bring her back a little bit. You want your range to fight ranged. Also, I need them to just heal up. Ah, crap, I got her killed. Bring her back. Bring him back. That trap hopefully goes off. Nope. There's already a unit on it, so the trap doesn't go off. My bad there. I want to put up my ma my magician next. And the goal is to not get yourself killed. That's the whole big thing. Don't get taken out. Now magician's stronger. She has a chance to freeze enemies, which is great. Looking good. We are doing okay! And you slow the regen when you're not in combat. Now a whole lot of crap's about to come right now, and we don't even know if there's gonna be stuff over there. You can see my stars aren't going too well, so that means I'm either not making enemies attack me soon enough, or I'm doing something wrong. 
I'm gonna put my archer up here to deal with that. Heal my ninja. Okay, if she's not in heal range, there we go, there she is. Well, finally the trap gets set off, just not the best. Put this here for the spawns. I guess my archer cannot deal with it? Nope. Oh jeez, they just get shot for free. That means just back off of that area. I want to level up my ninja and my hunter eventually. Hunter is 180, ninja is 150, smoke bomb, why not? There we go. And it does heal them, which can be used for an emergency, which is pretty helpful as well. I want to have them not up there getting shot the hell, though. That's basically a big advantage for the enemy. Hit that. There we go. A lot of things attacking me, holy crap! I can activate that early, I don't really want to. Oh, there's smoke bomb right there. Good for against range. That is helpful. Oh, they're good. Okay. Dude, I still want to get the stars. So I'm going to activate them soon. Activate! There we go. Get the stars for that. Ninja in trouble. Heal him. There we go. Uh, who hasn't leveled? The hunter. Yeah, there we go. Now she can do traps. We'll see how those work. Setting up the trap card. Alright, gonna activate them soon. Oh, my magician goes down. My bad there. My archer's gonna go down too. Just too much stuff is happening. Oh man, I'm being in trouble right now. I have regen soon though, but oh man, a lot of stuff happening here. Need my archer to just stand- my uh, warrior to stand in the way. They can only tank four things at once though. Regen everything, including myself, is important. And everyone's leveled up, so put her up. There we go. So much chaos going on here. Oh man. With really calming music at the same time! We got a new card? Ooh, we got a Berserker! That'd be cool to see. Alright, we did it! We did not get all stars though, so I did not do a good enough job. I'm gonna assume I lost some stars because people died. So did not get full stars. This is my first time not doing it. Damn! We made it! You need stars for upgrades. You'll, I'll show you that in a second. Darn! I did not do that well. Did not handle. Did not handle that well. Okay, so let's show this. Okay, so overview kind of things going on here. So, this is of course the main stuff going on here, but there's tavern and you can do quests. Like, we just did the man at me, so we get two of these. Oh no. Get two stars, get you that. Okay. So, what you're doing is basically just doing the levels and doing them on like hard. Like this, do this boss on hard. Or do the challenge levels, we'll get you these coins. And these coins are used to unlock these other units. So I can buy a paladin, buy a sentinel. By wizard, by dancer. So the idea here is, of course, it incentivizes you to do challenges and stuff so that you can earn more things instead of just doing them for pride, which is not a bad thing at all. It's pretty good. Now we only earn two stars. Right now, these are the upgrades I have. You can upgrade your warriors, your range, your magic, and your stealth. These are different things you can do. I can upgrade my healing, uh, damage from the starfall, or to cool down on the trap. Trap can be pretty useful. And uh, I accidentally just clicked on this, didn't I? Yeah, I leveled that up. What's nice is you can just, uh, what's the word here, respec it all for free. So you just respec and just put whatever you feel will work for the next level you're doing or whatever challenge you want to do. Like a lot of challenges are like ranged only, no warrior, they're either no warrior or ranged only. So you can just put all your power into range for challenges or whatever if a ranged, if it's not ranged but a magic challenge or something like that, that'd be pretty helpful as well. You can see all the different things you can have with your different characters. So that's what's going on with that. Now... Let's go ahead and just click on one just to show challenge. So like over here, challenge. So this one is no warrior, upgrade max level one, no revive. A later one would be challenge over here, no range this time, upgrade max level two, and no revive. So if they die, they can't be brought back. So you see this variety there. And it's all for this extra star. Challenge was to get that extra star, so you can just get more upgrades going for you. That's really what it is. And then there's achievements, which is just, you know, for pride. And that should be everything. Oh, you can also look at units and see descriptions about them. You can also see their cards as well. You can see what they can do. So he can stun and that'd be right there. You can see her cards. So very nice detail here with like the little drawings and little bit of information about their character, like their powers and their stats and everything. Berserker is the newest unit we just got here. That guy looks like he's a mean son of a beach. Look at that guy. Spin and bin. Interesting. Then there's the Hunter. Hunter seems to be very useful to have. Four traps? Wow. You see a variety of 12 units, and there's about 17 levels, I believe. A lot of things you can do here. Now, the price of the game, 
here's the thing. On PC, it's $10. On iOS and on Android, it's $4. That's a weird difference in price. I, I like it a lot on PC, but the price difference is kind of weird. Now, they say it's because, well, you got mouse support and you can do Steam stuff and things like that. I don't know if that's enough to justify it. I really don't. I think part of it might be because of the cut that Steam takes from them, maybe? I don't know, just for price where they make profit? I'm really not sure. But, personally, I recommend this game. I like it a lot. If you can play it on... If you prefer it on iOS or on Android, you can take that route. For me, I, I like it. I definitely like this game. I don't know if I could recommend it on the 10, though. I really don't. Maybe on 5? Just a little bit more from, from the app? But if you got the money for it and you like what you see, go ahead and buy it at 10. There you go. We're gonna do one more level just to show off, and there you go, without much leads. Onali follows some mysterious hooded figures who seem to know where they are going. We'll just do one more and finish it out. And here we are. Oh, is this a boss fight? Oh, we can only have, what, five units probably? So we gotta buy these last ones, so we can un we're gonna unlock at least two more. So what units do I want? I want the knight, I want the archer, I want the magician. I don't know about rogue all that much. I might go berserker and hunter. That seems good to me. And here we go. Five cards. It's pretty good variety there. What's going to happen here? Alright, so what do I want to whip out? Probably want to go... Yeah, let's go with this. Check out the new Berserker unit. Let's check it out. Here we go. Berserkers boast a lot of hit points, but have no defense. Their axes damage enemies around their target. Sweet. Alright, here we go. Let's do this thing. Looks like this is going to be a, a, there's going to be a boss fight for sure here. And Hunter would be great for those Panthers, of course, so they're going to take a little bit of damage. Units, bats, cursed bats, alright. Take them down faster, they'll regain health and buy time. Okay, so they have lifesteal. Okay. We can also activate these Panthers early for stars if we want. Let's play it safe this time and not do that just yet. Alright, so now I can summon an archer, which would be very helpful. Of course, I would prefer a Hunter if I could, but I don't have the means for that. Bring these guys over. So there's going to be constant bat threat. But then we got panther threat as well. Let's heal everybody. There's the panther. Went straight for the archer. Well, wow. Drop a bomb there. Oh, they went to a portal. Interesting. Very interesting. This guy's getting wrecked, though. Increase my numbers. There we go. It looks like we're going to go forward. The music in this area is way too gentle. There's some more higher, uh... Let's see, like higher... What's the word looking for here? Higher energy music? I think it's just because we're kind of in a wispy woods kind of thing. Oh man, activate trap card, activate trap card, see how that goes. Good, now I gotta push him for healing if I need it. I'm gonna hold out for probably a hunter. Oh crap, wasn't paying attention, someone's dead. Was not paying attention, my bad. Down goes my archer, my bad there. Gonna go ahead and get uh, Hunter next because of just Panthers and stuff like that. Trap card goes out, that's pretty good. Very calming music. Oddly calming right now, music. Uh, my people are not in the aura. Darn it, I messed up. Gonna get my ranged out, of course. I'm gonna lose my Berserker. Uh-oh. Get these guys together a little bit. Can I keep them alive? My heal's not gonna be up for a little bit, so I need them to just back up a little bit. Now, a thing to note is, in transit, the enemies will change focus, so you can't just kite, which is an interesting uh, balance right there. There's no kiting allowed. Heal, heal! Oh, just in time! That was close. Archer, of course, not in a good spot. Once I get a mage, I'll be in a better spot. What's that? What? Oh, unlocked more stuff. What the hell? Marshmallow? <laughs> oh, crud. We're gonna deal with something rough. Of course, you can look around. You can also zoom in and out. Well, that's creepy. Are we gonna go up that way then leave, I think? I'm very curious what's gonna happen here. Ah, new enemies! Balloons! Lunatics! Oh my god. Pops... The units that are too close when they pop won't be blinded. Ooh, that's not good for anybody. Ah, great, they're blinded. Not so good! Not so good! Get more mana. I can have one of everything, so that's always good to have. Gotta upgrade my range guy next. Not my range I gotta upgrade my knight. Really need him to be able to tank damage. 
Kind of important to have him tank damage. Now we got heal, that's good. Uh, where's my archer? Bring my archer out. Bring my hunter out. There we go. Range units are the ones that are weakened by being close range. May as well just put a trap card right there. Heal. There we go. Level him up. Oh, here comes a clown! Send in the clowns, huh? Oh, that thing did not go off well. Marsh Clown. And then don't let them buffing their... Oh, they buff. Okay. Don't want to kill those quickly if possible. The Summoner does fight, but she doesn't do any real damage. Like, at all. Kill the Clown, kill the Clown! I want to just keep buffing my guy so he can tank damage, basically. We also have this healing potion. Looks like it was about to disappear. Then Berserker there. So my plan is to, well... Kill them where I can. And the Berserker tank that spot. He should be good there. And just shooting the things. Get those bats in for more stars. The advantage to Magician is she has Splash, so you want her fighting the bats. Unfortunately, she's not fighting the bats. This guy's got Splash too, so that's helpful. Put him up. This also heals him, which is very advantageous since he's so beat up right now. And in the bats. Put this up for the clowns again. Put down the heal. Put my range back. So you see what you're trying to do is just coordinating and just putting units where you need them to be. It of course gets pretty complicated and then you're just going to get wrecked if you're not paying attention too well. And I like that. Dino bikes. Uh oh. See what happens in a second. Alright. Oh, this guy's getting beat up. Please damage. Okay, so there is his uh, splash attack. Get him that eventually. Just want to keep getting this guy up, because he can just tank more. Whoops, there we go. So I definitely enjoy this music, and it looks nice. Ah, crud, got him killed. My bad. Why is he not fighting? That's weird. There we go. So these are suicide bicycles. For now, we'll just let him regen since nothing's attack. Oh my god, everything's attacking. Whoa. Now we need our guys up. I need that Berserker to regen more. There we go. Just gonna keep getting my knight up, though. Oh no, he's crowned. Forget what I said. Fudge, I got her killed. Get the archer up. Just get everyone up one level. So that they can just do more things. Those suicide bombs are wrecking my people. Eventually I want the knight to get in the way so he just tanks it all. Trap card. Shoot. Range is about to... Yeah, got her killed. Just so complicated trying to keep everything going, right? Get them healed up, get them healed up. He's about to be back, but not yet. Shoot. Drop it down. Oh, potion's on effect the dead. Okay. There we go, she's back in now. And we're doing okay. We only have two stars. I'm gonna assume we're near the end, though. Oh, we are not near the end yet, though. Jeez. Alright, go for another heal here. Ooh. Yeah, give her a splash attack. Oh, uh, the ability to freeze, I mean. She's already got splash. Give him a splash attack next. Oh, jeez. Oh, she's gonna die. Back her off. Of course, we want to arrange units here to kill these guys before they come over. That'd be a good plan. So many bats! Back her off. Put another trap here. I'm gonna lose my magician. No, no, she's okay. Thought they were gonna kill her. I lost my berserker though. Crud. Gotta bunch them up for a heal. You can also heal your summoner as well. Oh, uh, what's this about? Ringmaster? Oh, they gave us a cleric! Sweet! I'm assuming that's a healer. Who going to assume that's a healer? Looks like that's the end. Alright, we won the level. So that right there is Tiny Guardians, everyone. 
I had fun playing. Hope you had fun watching. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Links come by and see you next time. One time again, it is $4 on iOS and Android and $10 on PC. Oh, barely didn't get that third star. Oh, look at the cleric really quick. And yeah, up to you how much you want to pay for this. I th it's a fun game. If you, if you disagree with the price point, then you can wait for sale, stuff like that. I, I'm a bit just, it's, it's just weird for me, personally, just the difference in price on mobile and uh, PC, unless you do enough to make it okay. I don't know if there's been enough done for this. Now, the clerics are, are healers who play an important part in keeping the party alive, so she could be really useful if one of my regions not up, so I don't know who I'm going to replace with her, but this could be a very useful unit for sure. But there you go, that right there is the game, I already said that. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time!